Booker Corgan here at the Katie Sampson Lacrosse Festival, an amazing event in its 14th year. I'm joined by Peter Sampson. Peter, talk a little bit about how important this has become for the lacrosse community and the players. Before we get into the, the actual cause, let's talk about the lacrosse event because it is top notch. Well, I, I appreciate your comments. It's good to hear your uh, seal of approval. Well, this has become a big deal to the kids, particularly the Radnor kids. They uh, they look forward to this. This is a this is our event. This is you know this is this township, which has supported Katie since um, the day after a accident, and it really supports this festival. You see people here all day, and uh, and the teams they've come to view this as a very special thing to be asked to be in it to 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 hold their place in it by uh you know by helping to raise funds and we're really proud of what it's become and characterize for us how it feels for you to see it what it is now when you look back at year one or even before year one were you even close to thinking it would become and evolve into something that's this big and this important you know, it's it's so hard to even think about. The first year, I don't know if you know, it was like a scrimmage day in March. It must have rained a foot the week before it. It was postponed. It became a JV tournament in uh, over Easter weekend, and we had meetings and basically said, you know, do we want to do this again? What do we want to do? I said, look, the only way we can make this work is to make it real games. And so we had the first several festivals at Harvard School where they had two and then three turf fields. And we didn't really, the, um, we brought the girls in, I think in the third festival or fourth festival. Then we had split campuses. The boys was at Haverford School. The girls was, was here. And then we had the girls one year at Haverford College. And then like two months before the festival, they, um, you know, they, they said they had problems, they couldn't do it. We moved the girls here, and then shortly after that, we moved the whole thing here. And, you know, except for a scattering of rain a couple times, we've been blessed. And very fortunate, and it's also, it's for such a good cause, such an important cause. Uh, tell us a little bit about Katie's story and how this whole evolved and where you see it going in the future. Well, uh, Katie got hurt in uh, near the end of January 2000. And uh, I swear, uh, within 24 hours, virtually every lacrosse, college lacrosse team in the country had checked in with Katie, sent flowers, cards. It was tremendous support. And, uh, you know, she's just never looked back. And that's the way she, she's acted, uh, that it's no point looking back, can't change it. And, you know, she went on and um, continued. She helped coach Middlebury to two more national titles while she was a student. She had been the goalie on the championship team her freshman year, Division Three. Then she went on and got her master's in art history at um, the University of Arizona and took up quad rugby or murder ball. And she's been, we, we've been, um, yeah, her line is, what am I gonna do, break my neck? <laughs> so, uh, so she's, you know, we've changed our, our um, our focus a little bit from just research into, um, you know, research and, and contributions to programs that really contribute to the life, quality of life of those in, in uh, with spinal cord injuries. And how would somebody who's watched, some of our viewers want to know how can they help contribute, how can they participate in the cause, uh, what's a way for them to get involved? Two ways, well, you can just contact us, you can send an email, uh, the website is uh, Katie Sampson Lackfest, Lax fest.com and there's a way to communicate there send an email or you can just uh you know send an email um to uh katie at uh at katie sampson laxfest.com or just go on the website check us out the address is there we've got tons of people who come up and say they want to be a part of it and that would be great to get some more people and it's an amazing festival you've seen it grow from you know, year one where it was, you know, torrential and, and it was, a, a, the cards were all stacked against you. And sometimes it feels that way in a lot of different aspects of life, but you found a way to persevere. So thank you very much for fighting your way through because this is very impressive. <laughs> well, thank you, Booker. And a, a guy who's been uh, watching a lot of lacrosse in your life, I'm glad you like it, you know. Fantastic day. Again, Peter Sampson, I'm Booker. Thanks for being a part of it.